which I pray in the name of all the holy prophets and the holy books. Amen. The security architecture has been reduced to rumbles in the whole country. I said it because that is the truth. If a local government chairman can cheaply be taken away and killed, if a member of House of Assembly can be taken cheaply and killed, the orders are better imagined. The security in this country has come to the lowest ebb and we have to all wake up. We as leaders have given our devices severally as to the change of the security architecture. If one thing you do every day is not working correctly, then you should go and find advice from somebody to tell you how you will do it differently to get it correct. You can't keep doing the same wrong thing over and over. I keep saying it. The Nigerian constitution is a replica of American constitution. But go to America, nobody will touch you. And if we cannot be able to provide security for our citizens, then allow all the citizens to buy AK-47. <laughs> if everybody is licensed with AK-47, I swear nobody will come to your house. Or if he comes, then it depends on who is faster. But the situation where it were all gagged with one particular security system that has been unable to work. And we are told to sit down and be counting the day our turn will come. I don't agree with it. I sympathize with the families of all those that have lost their lives due to this kidnapping and killing. As believers and as a Christian, for all, everything that happened, we are supposed to give thanks to God. He knew at the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Amen. Now, I'm sure you are aware of the story. Your colleague had a security meeting on Saturday. And I was informed that that was the genesis of what happened on Sunday to him. And that while they were kidnapping and taking him away, he now recognized one of them. And even mentioned his name. And that one gave an order they should kill him. That is the story I have. And I think that is the correct version. I want to thank the police and the security agencies. So far, they have caught about four people I was meant to know. That is very good. We wish that they will take it to conclusion by arresting all the people that were involved. At least 20 men went to his house from the information I had, all armed with AK-47. Let them fish them out. And so that for once, we should make correction. I will advise you people that already a letter has gone around, and based on that letter, let Dovo acted. That is, don't allow anybody to settle on your land. We are living in dangerous times and unpredictable times also. You cannot sit aloof. If you admit strangers, most of them are coming with their problems. If it was a normal times, peaceful times, who cares where you go? In those days, I used to travel to Meduguri. I leave at 5 p.m. I travel throughout the night. I was younger and I was driving myself. 
There was a question I had sponsored tired at 2 a.m. And somebody stopped and asked me, what is it? I said, I have a punctured tire. In those days, to, uh, Peugeot is common car. So he was riding the Peugeot. He gave me his tire. I changed with my own. We continued to the next village where we got somebody to patch my own. He waited. When they finished, I gave him his tire. Then I took money and gave him. He insulted me. He said, oh God, you think if it's because of money, I'll stop to help you. I help you because of God. I too am a traveler. I may also encounter this in future. That was the Nigeria of those days. That was the Nigeria of when sanity was around. You can travel till daybreak. Now you dare not. Once it's 6 p.m., you sleep where you are. It used to be heard or seen on television, but now it's real. Please, Try as much as possible to sensitize your chiefs, your local chiefs, village chiefs. Any new settler in their community should be reported. And you have to screen whether the person is of good conduct or not. And you report to the authorities. I believe if we continue to do such, we will minimize the casualties within our society. I also want to reiterate what I said almost eight months ago in the hall when I was swearing in some chiefs, that you do not have the right to give land, neither the chiefs. Anybody seeking for land, you have to report it if it's a village chief, he reports to his own uh, district head. The district head will report to the third class, and they will report to you. This is the only way we can manage the land resources. It's the only way, too, we can use to police those who are coming into the state. Taraba is a sweet state, very sweet, like a beautiful girl. Everybody wants to come to her. So we have to watch out and make sure we are careful. Miscrants should not come here and drive us away. You are the custodians at the local government level. You should wake up to your responsibilities. It's unfortunate your colleague died on duty, but we pray that his soul rests in perfect peace. You also thanked me that uh, you became chairman belatedly. Uh, I accept your thank you. It's better to say thank you than to never to say one. But I pray that it's genuinely from your heart. Because what I have learned from politicians now, I am frightened. Because they are very treacherous, very, very treacherous, very, very treacherous. I was thinking to myself, so if a war comes, can I command these people to follow me behind and one of them will not shoot me? I was watching a film. I said, World War II, they shot down some people. The man left the war, came, carried his brother on the back, and was shooting and was running away from me and saved his life. That is military. That is comradeship. That is love. That is a genuine sacrifice. If you put politicians on scale, they are all found wanting. The reason is that most of the politicians don't have the ideology and idea. They just see it as something that they are playing Kalo Kalo or something and they won't. And therefore, they just play them. No. Position should be something you desire because you intend to serve. If that is not there, you have lost it. You desire to be a leader because you want to serve. Anything short of that is rubbish. They were asking me yesterday that uh, we learn from here, you go to Senator, what do you have to say? I said, Senator, 
I came here, I didn't plan for it. I was a minister, I didn't plan for it. I was a consultant, I didn't plan for it. I say everything I do, God planned it for me. Were it not so, God would not have taken me to a training as a minister. Even in the minister, I went to three ministries. From power to Niger Delta, from Niger Delta to environment. I combined environment and Niger Delta and retire to come and seek the position. If you don't leave things in the hands of God, then your human hands will fail you. Please, Chairman, I want to advise you. You must have a goal of being in your local government. One day, these guys are enter Kekenape and be asking people, what is this chairman doing? Do you like him or you don't like him? Sometimes I do. I have my cousin, he picks me in the car, we just go and drop all the security. And we we'll go and pack. Maybe I'll be buying sugar cane, I'll be asking them, put my first cap and jeans. They don't know he's governor. Sometimes you need to. Christ asked his disciples, what do people think I am? You two, go and ask people secretly what they think you are. If you hear that, that is exactly what they think you are. But I believe as your commander, you should look at me and learn a lot of things. When some of you were coming on Broadway, I trained some of you. I also showed you I try to lead by example to show what to do. Please do the best you can because you are in the grassroots. And try to educate our people. Most of our people have been deceived. They are not in the know-how. It is you people that will educate them. We are doing a lot. I am proud of what I have done so far. And I always say it. Because when you are good, you don't hide. A golden fish has no hiding place. So I, I can sit here till morning. If you ask me 1,000 questions, I will answer you for every decision I take. And those who work with me and near me, ask them. And I also sometimes I ask them, this is the decision, do you think it's right? Most of them will say, or God do it this way or that way. But I have a constant person who always reminds me, and he's sitting here with me today. He will apologize three times and then tell you the opposite. <laughs> oh God, don't be annoyed. Oh God, don't be annoyed. But I'm not together in this decision. <laughs> I like it. Because if you don't have people who will tell you the truth, you will always be misled. Please, Chairman, you are representing us. Do your best. And we are your best. You cannot meet. Let us know who will come in. Security wise, we've been doing the best we can. We've been liaising with the police. We've been liaising with the military. So far, they've been doing very well. The seven uh, children from Takum that were kidnapped, as of this morning, they have gotten the three of them. Uh, only is remaining now and uh, I'm very happy about it to thank them I will also remind you about regular security meetings uh, the record I have a lot of you have been doing it but I just want to remind you and if you keep on doing that it will help you a lot regular security meetings Ibi, I want to thank you. And when you go, you tell the Serkin Kudu that I'm happy because I have a report on my table how he returned. Is it two trailers of people? You tell him that I've gotten the report and I'm happy with it. I wish more of you will do same. Then we will have less problem. So on the final note, I want to thank each and every one of you and if you have any problem, you let us know. We'll be in the position to assist you as much as possible. 